the first part question says find angle tpq so you, they, they need this angle angle between a chord between a chord and you need to open your notes register please and look what is the property number in our register Property, property number six. Yes, and you you will find a diagram there also. So copy the property in the solution of this question and tell me where should I move this 50? Um, you can move it like it's the 50s over there. You can move it to T, like an angle to T. No, no, no. Look, look, look at the notes again. Fifty is there, but it won't be the T. It will be the Q because it is the second turn. If you see the property in your notes, 50 will come here. You have to turn like flip. Yes, you have to take, you have to move across the chord. Okay. Can you help me to find the question, the question mark angle? There are two cuts. Okay, yeah, two cuts. So that means um, if that angle, since one side, um, when there's the two lines, the cuts, that side is equal to the other side. So then the other side will also have 50. Angle is isosceles? Yes, yes. So the other T part, that would also have 50. Okay, very good. Now, can you help me to find the question mark? Um, yes, now you can do 50 plus 50 and then X angle equals 180. Please share the working. Yes, I copy. Now, this question.
the diagram shows a cyclic quadrilateral. What is a cyclic quadrilateral? You can see the notes always because obviously presently you are focusing on other subjects. So you can look at the notes and can you tell me what are what is a cyclic quadrilateral? Uh, cyclic quadrilateral. That's um, it. It's a uh, basically something that has an exterior angle and then no, no, the no, exterior no, no, angle no, no, is. Oh. You are not looking at the notes. Look the notes. What is a cyclic quadrilateral? Psychic, uh, it is. It has four vertices on the, on the circumference. On the circle. The circle. Okay. Yes, the circle. Opposite angles sum to one eighteen. Yes. Um, so the exterior angle is always equal to the interior angle, the opposite. So then it would be like 68. We can find. So what happened, sir? Okay. Can you please solve for X? Uh, if you are copying okay. with, so please solve also. You are right, but you are saying, and uh, that is perfectly right. The exterior angle equals opposite interior angle. X is 36. W is directly 68 because W is interior and 68 is exterior. Can you look for the next question now? Um, next question. Okay, there's okay. Um, easy. And if you do for any topic, if you do first paper two questions and then you go for paper four, it will give you a good grip. Now, this is the question, March 2021. Read the question. I'm marking the important things as always I do because that will help us. Whenever you are solving a question, you should mark important features. Angle between a chord and the alternate segment is always the same. What is the property? We have used it. Angle between a, between a chord and a tangent is always equal to the angle in the alternate segment. So look at the 47. This is my tangent. And this is my chord. So 47 will come here. He says find the value of x. So I have done the first step. 
I'm just coming. I have to make Uzu. Uh, you just come uh, do the part for me. I have done. I have started the question. Please do the remaining part. I'm just coming there. So H is also 25 because angles in alternate segments. So 25 and 47. So did you add them later? Yes, I added them. And then since it's a... What is the, what is the sum of them? Um, 72. Okay, and there are two cuts. So it means that will also be... 72 yes and then i um i the sum was 180 so then i made the equation and then i solved the answer is coming 36 yes 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 Find angle ADC. We need to find this big angle. We have a 131 here. It's a cyclic quadrilateral. And you can see A, B, C, D. Look at A, B, C, D. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Um, yes. so the opposite angle sum to 180. Um, um, we have 20, so we need to find the other part. But what, what ADC is coming? One eighty minus one thirty one. What is one eighty minus one thirty one? Uh, okay, one eighty minus. Is forty nine. Forty nine. Forty nine or thirty nine. Um, forty nine. AOC. This is AOC. This is the angle at the center, and there is 131 in front of it. So first you get the reflex angle here. What is 360 minus 131? Um, 360 minus 131 is, it's 229. Oh, sorry, make a mistake. This is the angle at the center. So the property is here. Angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. 
So it will be 131 into 2. I'm getting 262 and now I want to find this angle. So when outer angle is 262, what will be the angle at the question mark? Total angle is 360. It would, uh, the angle, it would be the same. No, no. It's a circle. Outer angle is 262. What would be the remaining inner angle? Remember, it's a circle. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Total angle is 360. Yes. It would be. Like this is a thing. So the total be... angle is 360. Okay. The yeah. total is 360. And you know, the outer one is 262. Yes. So it would be, it would be 98. Um angle 98 it would be 360 minus 262 mm -hmm. you have to solve this 98 Now part C, angle B A T. We need to find this angle. Sir, when you you did um times time one th uh, 131. times one thirty one um, yes so is, so is the angle like the circumference angle but, at, um, so... angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference so the angle that's touching the circumference that's the angle you use angle at the circumference is 131 no? yeah okay angle at the circumference is 131 uh, the property is here angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference Is there could be a T B twenty? Could it be a T could it be twenty? But how? But this is an angle outside now, it's a tangent. Angle between a tangent and a chord. Answer is right, but I need the logic. Because the angle between a chord and a tangent is always equal to the angle that's in the alternate segment, so alternate segment, very good. Yeah. Uh, angle OAB. This one. 
Um, so you can find angle the C one. So you can find C. E. And C of where C is. And then you can uh, find A as well, where the angle is for A O C. No. Um, yeah. Um, o A B. This is a radius, na? This is a radius. So, okay. what is the angle between a tangent and a radius? Angle between tangent um, is perpendicular to each other. Hmm. So, angle between a tangent and the radius is this. So, I can subtract 20 and then I can get the remaining angle because the blue angle is 20. Okay. I need the green question mark. So it will be simply 90 minus 20. The red angle and the blue angle. Red minus blue angle will give me the green angle. Yes. Okay, now look for the next question. Points A, B, C, D in E and F lie on the circle center O. Find the value of X and the value of Y. 110 at the center, X on the circumference. What is the property to be used here? Angle at the center. Please write with me. Angle at the center is. So if I. Uh, if I half 110, I will get X. Um. Because it's a twice now. Um, yes. Now, second part. Sir, could it be 24? Okay, need the reason. The reason is because um the is because the interior angle is always equal so to the exterior. Answer is 24. Why? Because it's a zigzag property angle in the same segment. Okay. You can see the butterfly property here. Let me draw a line for you. Look at this. Look, so it is like this, this, and this. If you move your pencil on it, you will get my concept. This is a concept of zigzag, or people call it a butterfly property also. It's a zigzag. Zigzag means four corners on the circumference, four corners on the circumference, and the facing angles are equal. So please write with me the property. Angles in 
está sin segment are equal so y is equal to 24 so this is the pro this is the circle property work we will stop here and uh, we will inshallah continue in our next class